Hi, I'm Julie, and today I'm going to bring you an eight-minute arm video. It's going to be intermediate. We're going to be using lightweights, anywhere from two pounds up to five pounds today. Again, remember, don't use anything that's too heavy that's going to sacrifice your form. So we're going to get started. Legs cross-legged, arms reach to the sides of the body, warming up the shoulders. You're going to inhale to lift the arms up just as high as shoulders, and then exhale to release down. We're going to repeat that. So we're inhaling as you're lifting, and then exhale as you're lowering. A breath flow, inhale on the lift. Exhale on the release. We're going to go for two more. Inhale as you're lifting. Exhale as you're lowering. One more time. Inhale on the lift. Once you lower, flip those palms, they face up. So we're going to lift with the bicep. Lower gently with the lat muscles. Inhale as you're pushing up. And then exhale as you're coming down. And again, we want to keep those core muscles pulled in nice and tight so that you're not rocking your torso at all. Breath flow. Inhale. Exhale on the release. One more time here. Inhaling up. Exhale. We transition. We're going to lift again. Inhale. Do one bicep curl. Exhale. Lengthen through the arm. Gently lower. We repeat that. So it's up, bend once, lengthen and lower. Breath flow. Inhale. Then exhale. Then inhale and exhale. Inhale, two more. We lift, curl once, lengthen arms. One more time before a transition. Inhale to lift, bend at the elbow, lengthen. Here's your transition. We're gonna lift again, bend and then stay. Bring those elbows forward parallel to the floor. Extend out for bicep curls. Curl up on an inhale, lengthen out on an exhale. So again, we bend at the elbow, lengthen and extend. Extend. Again, really isolate from the elbow to the shoulder so there's no movement. Two more to go. Inhale, exhale to lengthen. Last time we bend. Once you lengthen, flip your palms. Lower hands about six to eight inches. We're going to do an upward row. So we lift on an inhale, down on an exhale. And again, you're going to keep those core muscles tight. So you want to avoid trying to rock the chest. Inhaling up, exhale. Here. We're also going to keep a nice closed rib cage so that when you lift, you're not kind of popping the chest open and over exaggerating. One more, we're going to transition. So we inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Take those arms up and around behind the nape of the neck. Do a little hinge forward for shaving. Keep your gaze slightly past your mat. You're going to go up and forward, bend down on an exhale. Inhale as you're lifting. Exhale as you lower. Again, so the target now is the tricep, which is through the back of your arms. Two more to go before we transition again. Exhale, two. Last one, inhale. Exhale, one. Push back up again. Open arms to the side walls for hugging palms or down today with the elbows out. Inhale as you're lifting. Exhale as you open. So we have bicep and pectoral forward. Tricep and lat back. Three more here. Inhale front. Exhale three. Again, we go forward. And two. One more to finish off here. And one. Let those arms float down a quick second. Round your upper body forward. Let's give your arms a real quick break here. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Place both weights into those right hands, going into the tricep kickback. So you're just going to put that left hand on the knee, hinge a little forward with your elbow back behind you. Again, keep that gaze out in the head so you don't want to look down at all. You're going to inhale before you start. We're going to kick back for one, bend at the elbow. Exhale, two, inhale on the bend lengthening three again abdominals still pulling for four inhale as you bend exhale five more today bending front push for five keeping that wrist nice and straight four inhale forward back again three exhale as you're pushing two inhale to the front and one, complete all the way forward. Go. Let's switch those weights so they're into the left hand now. Same thing, we're gonna take that elbow behind your body, little hinge forward, right hand on the knee, exhale and kick back one. Bend on an inhale, push on back two. Stomach in tight for three. And we have four. Inhale to bend, pushing five more here. Again, just keep that gaze out ahead for five. 
exhale to push four abdominals in tight three inhale on the bend exhale two one more to go here guys one complete all the way okay, let's take those weights just put them off to one side of the mat we're going to go into two different sets of push-ups today so we're going to bring it up on all fours we're going to take the hands so that they are directly underneath the shoulders as wide as the mat do a nice wide fingertip fingertips wing in a little bit now it's going to protect your wrist now you can do them full plank we're only going to do one set of ten or you can go to the knees so if you're going to do that full plank take your right leg straight left one meets it if you're going to go to the knees open the knees as wide as the mat pull the heels to the hips and you want to tuck your pelvis forward it's very easy to arch the back one try not to do that keep that core in bend your elbows and lower down push on up for one inhale as you lower lift two inhale to bend and three down again inhale up four opening up the chest we have five more to go inhale exhale five bend push four abdominals in tight three support your weight inhale exhale two last one here let's go halfway down hold five four three two push up then you go all the way back to child's pose just give yourself a second here let the arms take a little break stretch out the back Now we're going to go ahead and bring it up. We're going to do some cat push-ups. We have six on each side. It's going to target your tricep. Bring yourself into tabletop, hands directly underneath the shoulders. Now, when you're doing this specific push-up, instead of the elbows going wide, you're going to hinge at the elbow and push them back and in. So they're going to come in this way and not out that way. Keep that left foot anchored on the mat. When you dip forward, it's going to want to pull off the mat. Push the top of the foot nice and flat down. Take your right leg out behind you. are going to arch and look ahead. On your inhale, round, take the nose to the knee. Exhale, lengthen where you came from. Dive to the front. Push back up. Inhale, round the back. Exhale and lengthen. Dip forward, then push. Round on an inhale. Extend, exhale. Dive front. And we have three more to go. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. We're going to round, extend, dip front, push, last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Put that right leg down, left leg out. We're almost done. Let's arch that, do a nice long stretch, round in on an inhale, lengthen, exhale, dive front, push up breath flow inhale exhale inhale push exhale four more curl lengthen dive front push three more inhale exhale inhale exhale again we curl the spine lengthen the thigh dive forward push here's your last one inhale exhale inhale exhale let's put it all down push back to child's pose keep those knees together on this one it's going to give you a little bit of a different stretch through that low back let's bring you up and sit cross-legged take your arms inhale and bring them all the way up over the crop top of the head Interlace the fingertips. We're gonna round the back forward. Push your knuckles to the front wall. Just let the upper back and biceps stretch. Slowly curl up, push your palms. They're gonna face the ceiling. Your gaze is up. Elbows gently push behind your body. And let's center it up. Go ahead and take and bend that right elbow. Take the left hand and just stretch that elbow down. So we're stretching out that shoulder. And let's go ahead and reverse it. Bend the left elbow behind. And again, gently take that right arm and stretch that shoulder down your back. 
take a deep inhale to reach those arms up to the ceiling. Flip the palms. Exhale and float them all the way down. Thank you for joining me today. Stay there.